Hey everybody, it's Sandra Deluxe. Can I go to hell? Yeah! Yeah. So today I'm doing something called comfort zone makeup and although it's not exciting or new or you know innovative or very far from what I usually do, like I said it's comfort zone makeup, I wanted to do this because today I just wanted to feel pretty and do what I think makes me feel great. I think now there's always like a trying to get somewhere or trying to improve or trying to be better or trying to try new things or just be extra thinking in the future you're going to be valid validated and feel good and I think it's okay to find comfort in our comforts and to celebrate those things so today I'm kind of reviewing my everyday makeup routine it's not perfect it's just what I feel comfortable in and I think because the last couple months or few months I'm waiting for something to make me feel good something new or even trying like a new crazy look or whatever I think it's okay to just take a step back and do what you feel comfortable in and celebrating that so today we're doing that and this is the look like whatever I feel good in it this is what I do if I'm just like I want to be cute and go for a walk or whatever something kind of normal and just revisiting the basics so if you want to see how to get this look and do a little self-care self-love then please stay tuned so because I want the blush to kind of be a focus, I'm gonna go in with the Nudies Bloom Poppy Girl. I like this because it's super dewy and gives really nice color. And because I'm kind of basing my look around blush, I thought I'd do it first. I'm just kind of putting it in my highlight areas because it does have that really dewy quality to it. You could do this with a beauty blender too, but as you know, I'm all about that finger tangs, you know? And I just wanted to look pretty today, you know? See how it kind of reflects light a little bit? I can do a little above the brow, why not? And then just blending it in. So I'm going to do my concealer again later on. After I do my eyes, I usually kind of do that where I just like touch it up. Doing a little on the bridge of the nose. I'll go ahead and blend this side out. I think this is just really pretty for getting glow and a little rosiness for a modern girl, you know? Oh yeah! Okay, so next. This is one of my favorite palettes of all time, so I'm getting into it again. I just wanted something where it's like I can confidently know that I feel pretty in this makeup. And that's why I'm going to a comfort zone like this palette. I'm going to go into this kind of rosy neutral color in the corner. And we'll just fluff it into the crease. These are mad, mad pigmented. Usually I do my uh, nose contour and then I go in with my eyeshadows. But this I'm just going to take my time to blend. Kind of to blend in with our blush color. Add a little shadow. Same thing on this side. Bring a nice fluffy blend in. We're looking very rosy right now. So I'm gonna take this Magnetic Matte Eye Color in Putty. And these are super dope because if you really suck at doing a cut crease, you can just draw it on with this pencil. So to make our shape, we're just gonna do a circle like that. And then we can pull it out a bit if you don't wanna get in with a concealer brush and all that. And these dry and last for so long. Same thing on this side, I'm just going on top of my eyeball. It's very really easy to just blend it out. Especially if you're doing more of like a dramatic uh, transition. I'm gonna put this in my waterline, but just a little bit later on. I think, we'll see how we feel. Maybe not, I don't think I will. <laughs> Another thing I've been getting a lot of questions about, well, because I posted this video on TikTok and it did really well, for me anyways, because like, I don't know how to use TikTok, but people were wanting an eyeliner tutorial and I think there's something beautiful in returning to basics and explaining because things that I was explaining maybe 10 years ago when I was on YouTube might need a refresher. Maybe there's new people, I don't know. But I'm gonna go back in with a dip down fluid line. Dip down is the color, fluid line is the product. It's by MAC and it's just like a matte brown. I really like this for eyeliner eyeliner especially if you are learning to do eyeliner because it's forgiving if you go right away with a felt liner which is one of my favorites it can be kind of hard to correct if it dries too quickly I really like to just wing it literally with the eyeliner and then fix it as I go to shape my eyes so what I like to do is imagine a line from the bottom you see how it's kind of like loop following that line rather than following your eye oh like I just did ah but see how forgiving it is it's gone I just stab myself with it anyways so I'm gonna pretend there's a line here and I'm gonna go a little straighter today, so like this. 
And I just use my finger to kind of pull the line out because it'll give you kind of the infinity vibe. And then you can go from some point on your line and just connect it. And then you can kind of fill it in or just fill it in. You don't want to do anything you don't want to. But you see how it kind of has a dip there? I want to fill that part in too. So I always like to get my shape in first and then go in and make it perfect. So relax face. Whenever I'm like doing stuff, I was like, oh. But now whenever you're doing your liner, this is typically how your face is going to be when you're talking to somebody. So I like to try and do my liner with the most neutral expression possible so I can see where I need to fix it. And that will give you, you know, people say they're bat wing stuff if you have a hooded eye. Mine is slightly, but as you see like this, when I look straight, it looks normal. When I go like this, you can see the kind of bat wing there. I'm gonna fill it in a little bit. And this is also good for layering. Some eyeliners just like will roll off if you layer over top of it. As I mentioned, this is mad forgiving. So you can take your time and have a nice time with it. I'm doing more half liner lately. The best part about using these gels is they come off really well with concealer because I actually use this in my brows a lot of the time. Same thing on this side, just drawing a line. I'm always like, I do eyeliner better on this side for some reason. This side is more closed than the other side. Then I'm just gonna take some concealer and I can just clean it up a little bit. Oh geez Louise, this light. That's okay. And because we already kind of cut the crease on the top, I'll just smooth out this part here. I don't really want a bat line today. You know? And I always keep my pencil I did it with close by. I don't really like this brush, but I don't know where the heck I put my one I brought over here. It's just a freaking mess right there. Oh, here she is. Aha. And we can get it nice and close and make it look sharp. Oh, yeah. But I want it nice and long too. See how I did this side all nice? Pull it out to the moon. I'm gonna do the same on this side. Ooh. This one barely needs any cleaning up. I'll just blend it. Okay. Next, I'm gonna take the Pat McGrath Labs Mothership 5. I've used this lots of times so I don't feel super bad just using one shadow from it because seeing any of my other videos, you know I'm gonna use this a lot. I'm gonna go into this sparkly shade and I'm just gonna use my finger to blend it on my lid just for a little midnight twinkle, you know? And do it underneath too, just a little bit. I mean, that eyeliner looks crazy. What the heck is going on here? I'm gonna do the other eye. I'm gonna take my Makeup Forever Pro Bronze Fusion. You know, I just feel like comfort makeup always makes me feel good. Sometimes you don't wanna bring new heat. You just wanna feel like a sexy beast in what you do. It's not too extra, it's nice and tame. You already know it's gonna look cute even if you don't do the best job because it's your, or, you know, your routine. Snatch up the nose. I'm gonna go in with the Dark Deep Mineralized Skin Finish by MAC. I'm gonna go right below where we put the blush. Ooh, I didn't touch up my concealer, I should do that. Okay, let me just do the same thing. Anytime you start something on one side, just do it on the other side so it's balanced. But I'm loving the blush and the highlighter area lately. I'm just gonna touch up my concealer a little tiny bit, just a bit. I always like to, after everything, it just makes it look really clean if you kind of brighten up your concealer right after you're finished your makeup. Blend it in. On the tip. The center here. Yeah, now we're bright, ready to fight. Just kidding, don't fight. I'm too old for that now. Okay. Back to the dark, deep, mineralized skin finish. I'm gonna let it blend into the blush just to warm it up a little bit. I don't like just super bright colors, but it's almost setting it, but you get that beautiful rosiness because we already have that as our under layer. Bronze the forehead that is now a forehead because I put a wig on. Get this chin. I have a rash here and it's so scaly, so I always have to put a little foundation on it. It always comes and goes in this like one area. All right, party time. I'm gonna go into the Pat McGrath Labs. Um, oh, I dropped this like six times. Divine Rose Highlighter. And I'm gonna take a smaller brush, go into the inner corners of my eyes just to brighten it up. Sometimes after I'll touch up the eyeliner again, I'm gonna go on the nose like that, especially after a highlight. But because we've already got that base down, 
it'll go on easier. So I'm just gonna quickly touch it up. And this just kind of brings it back to life. Cause sometimes when I do my highlighter last, highlighter gets on my eyeliner and then it looks more dull, but it's okay. Cause we already did all the hard work putting in the shape when we first did it. Now we're just making it dark again. That's the part that's always takes the longest for me is just putting in the shape. Which is why I always say my eyebrows are what takes the longest for me. Whenever I'm done my brows, I know that that's the halfway point for me. Oh, yes. Cool. It doesn't have to be perfection. It just has to give the illusion of these elongated eyes. So then, I'm going to take the Bite Beauty up. I'm going to take the Bite Beauty Upswing Mascara. It's one of my favorite waves. Makes your eyelashes very black. Which I like because then you don't see them underneath your falsies. And they make your bottom lashes very long and dark too. Very juicy mascara. I'm a big fan. Trying to get every little hair. Cause when it's still wet like this, I'll stick my eyelashes on and then pinch it together. So it's almost like the wet mascara sticks to the false lashes and it just looks more undetectable. It's not that we're trying to sell like the natural illusion. It's just that you don't want to see what creates the whole fantasy. You just want it to blend all together. I'm gonna get into some brand new Ella lashes by Lily Lashes. I have a code Sandra Chibolo discount. These are some of my favorites. I'm so happy to just re-up. I was feeling so crusty for so long. I've been waiting. Ordered a wig for so long ago. It's taking forever to get here. Wanted new lashes. You know, sometimes you just gotta do stuff to feel like a bad bitch again. But I decided that I was gonna make do with what I have. As I've been styling this wig, I've had it for like three years or something like that. And one thing my mom said to me that I thought was really cool is that you have to decide that you are popping at every moment and not put power in waiting for something to validate you or make you feel good, whether it's a person or a thing. Cause I was waiting for a wig for so long and I'm like, oh, I look terrible, everything's the worst, like, you know, and it was like waiting for this wig was like me waiting for me to be validated and I'm just like, you know what? I decided to be popping today and that's why I was able to make this wig work and I think it looks pretty nice and I'm just trying my best out here and I'm not sitting here waiting for the wig anymore or lashes or whatever. I've been just getting really creative with trying to make stuff work, which one of my like best videos was showing how I repeat paired my lashes that I'd get from Walmart because I can afford to replace them all the time. And the thing is, you don't need to be replacing stuff all the time, but just feeling confident in what you have right now, you know what I mean? Which is something that I think I forget. The only reason why I got where I was is because I've always been like a make-do type of person. Like the reason I did so much with my hands and still do is because I couldn't afford brushes or, you know, using weave glue as eyelash glue, which I know you're not supposed to do, but I've been doing it for so long. I'm not allergic to it, which is a big deal. Um, it just keeps my lashes on really well. As a makeup artist, don't do it. As a friend, do it, it's bomb. Also, for some reason, there's like a freaking shortage of this eyelash glue here, or wig glue. And I don't know why, because I don't see many people with leaves, but my shit is so dry. I'm just going to slide them down. Ooh. Then I give it a little pinch, just flip them up. These are some of my faves, I just love them. And I'm gonna put some mascara on the bottom too. And because my eyelashes are taking on this like full voluminous kind of uh, chunky vibe, I'm gonna do a little bit on the top lashes just so that the texture matches. Does it make sense to have, you know, like these fluffy kind of straight lashes and then not have the texture match on the top, so. So I've also been obsessed with these Nude Sticks plush paints. I've used these in my videos before. But this is in Central Pay, and I like to do a little in the center. And then, one of my favorite lip products of all freaking time, which I use on everything, Aquaphor. When my allergies are bad and I'm blowing my nose a lot or rubbing my eyes or whatever, I put this on my nose, eyes, lips. This is probably my biggest and cheapest skincare secret. I have a little one, there's like a little mini like jar. I keep that in my car because my lips are so dry all the time. But for all you people out there that like Vaseline on your lips, give that a try. It's really good. <laughs> it's better. All right, let's take off the headband and see what we look like. <laughs> Okay, so that completes the look. I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it's not super different or exciting, but I think it's important to do what feels comfortable, be nice to yourself, and love yourself. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Don't forget to share, subscribe, and follow. Love yourself like I just said. Stay pretty, and I'll see you guys again in the next video. Take care. Bye.